All right. Uh, this is a review video for graphing an equation when given an equation and you have to graph it. So the next few problems, use this as a resource. The first thing you have to do is make sure your uh, equation is solved for y. In this case, our equation y equals 4x minus 7 is solved for y, but we need to just double check that it's solved for y in case you don't have this exact same equation. So we need to identify two things first. We need to identify our y-intercept and our slope. And remember that b is y-intercept, y-intercept, and slope is m. Now, here's our slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So step one here, we are going to identify the y-intercept, and that is our letter b. So right here, this is our b. We take the number at the end, and we carry the sign out front. So my b one uh, is negative 7. b is negative 7. So. Our first step, we identify the y-intercept, which we just did. Now, along the y-axis, we put a dot for whatever value our b is. So I'm going to look on the y-axis here, and I'm going to find negative 7, ooh, right here. And I'm going to put a dot, just like that. That is our y-intercept. That is where the graph is going to cross the y-axis. All right. Now, our second step is we need to identify our slope, which is m the number right in front of x, and we carry the sign out front. So we have a 4. There is no sign. That means it is positive. Now, starting at our y-intercept right here, we're going to use our slope, which is rise over run, to make our next dot. Now, here's a little hint slash cheat sheet. And this doesn't always work, but it usually works most of the time. If your slope is positive, you start by going up your rise amount, and then to the right your run amount. If the slope is negative, you go down the rise amount, and then right the run, uh, uh, run amount. Okay, so positive we start up. In this case, we have a positive slope. We're going to start at our y-intercept. My rise over run, remember rise is this way, run is left and right, is 4. And we can turn this into a fraction, 4 over 1. So I'm going to go up 4, and I'm going to count carefully here. 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1, just like this. So I started here, up 4 over 1. Now, our step 3 is we use the same slope to make a third dot. So I'm going to start from the dot we just made. I'm going to use the same slope, and I want one more dot. Up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 over one right there, all right? And then our last step here is we connect the dots and we put arrows at the end. And I know you guys don't have a piece of paper in front of you, but we're just gonna go like this. I'm gonna take my handy dandy fancy straight edge. I'm gonna connect the three dots. You don't wanna see the next problem. And then I'm gonna put arrows on the end and that's it. So we identify our y-intercept, we graph it. Then we use our slope to make two more points, all right? Rewind that if you need to.